Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Uh, so the gunmetal update has been out for two days now already. And believe me, I, I, I actually... I really wanted to make a video about it. I even already did make a video about it before it was even um, released. But then I was thinking to myself, you know what, all the other YouTubers are gonna talk about this update and everyone's gonna have the same opinion, like Oh, CS Ghost coming to TF2, Valve's ruining TF2, bloody bloody blah. So I scrapped it, and after multiple requests I thought I'd do it anyway, but this time I'm not gonna talk about what's in the update, but what I think is the best about the update. So in a way I'm gonna talk about what's in the update. So something I haven't heard from anyone yet, and which I personally think is the best thing about this entire update, or maybe the second best thing, but one of the best things, and that is uh, the ability to have unusual effects on your weapons. Yes. Well, this is actually very, very strange, if I might say so. Because unusual effects normally only apply to heads, right? So now you have four unusual effects, if I'm correct, that can be seen on many different uh, various weapons, actually. So. What you're seeing here is uh, some footage from someone's video. It's not my video, I'll uh, put the link in the descriptions for you guys to see. But these are the four effects that are out right now. I personally like the call effect the most. I would, I would so love to have um, one of those call sniper rifles. But, well, we'll see, maybe one day. Uh, but yeah, uh, unusual weapons, I don't know. Uh, it's a really fresh new thing, uh, and I'm surprised it wasn't in the game earlier, but still, I like that. So the next thing, uh, probably the best thing next to unusual weapons is the maps. Man, are they gorgeous. I mean, have you seen Suji, for example? That map is just beautiful. I mean, apart from the bugs. You know, uh, the update is only out for two days, so sometimes the bridges are invisible and the, the, even the pyros are invisible, I've heard some people say. Um, but, man, that map is beautiful. Even the blossom falling from the trees is just... This, this, these people have outdone themselves. So, you've got Snowplow finally, which is probably my favorite map at the moment. I really love it, because um, I love snow, as you can probably tell. Uh, there's Borneo, which has been a competitive map for quite some time already. So it's good to see that that is coming into the game with the competitive update coming up soon as well. And then there is Powerhouse. Well, this is the only Valve map. The other th three are community maps. And this Valve map is pretty much the only one I didn't really like. So um, it reminds me a lot of... Uh, what's it called? A place no one goes? So along with unusual weapons, new taunts, which are great. I mean, have you seen them? The box truck taunt? That is just... Man, that's great. <laughs> Still laughing my ass off every time I see them. But um, apart from those, there's also skins, of course, which is why people are complaining that CSGO is being ported into Team Fortress 2. But I still like them. I mean, some of them, most of them are crap. I'm sorry, let me correct myself. I mean, everyone I've gotten so far is complete crap, apart from my rocket launcher, which is um, slightly crap. Um, but I mean, it's, it's good to see new ideas and new things coming into TF2. I mean, this game is so good because it has so much variety. And to add even more variety to the game, my opinion is always great to have new things, so I, you're, I'm not complaining here. Most of the people I know are, but I'm not. So, um, something I am complaining about though is the amazing amount of nerfs and buffs. Because, well, it is new, yeah, to a certain degree. But the point is that with a list that is so long with buffs and nerfs, it's basically becoming an entire new game. It's not a new concept anymore or just a new tactic or something like that. It's a completely different game. Just everything works differently. Uh, things you were used to, weapons you were using for your main loadout just don't act like they used to. And that is for many people a groundbreaking deal. Uh, I've, heard, I've had a lot of friends tell me that they uh, can't play their main class anymore because all their weapons got nerfed. 
So that is one thing to keep in mind. Some weapons right now can be rendered completely useless. For example, the lock and load. I mean, well, yeah, it needed a, it needed a nerf, but still, does it need to be this useless? Because what demo would use his grenade launcher instead of his sticky launcher to take down the sentinels, right? Not only that, but even the mini sentry got a buff. And all right, I think that doesn't even need an explanation. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But the only good thing about mini buff is that um, you can actually one shot destroy a mini sentry when it's building up but you'll have to be quick i believe there were even a number of unlisted changes to certain weapons like rocket launcher because i've heard people say this and i could easily tell it myself that rocket jumping has become lots and lots easier so lots of buffs and nerfs some are good some are bad but it's a good thing to see that they still haven't nerfed the auto balance fuck your valve so, conclusion time? Yeah, I think it's that time. So, conclusion. Did Valve fuck up TF2 this time? No. That's just your opinion. In my opinion, it's just a new update with new stuff and more stuff. And I like new stuff. It's always great. And take game, please. Come on, guys. Look at the guy. He's so <laughs> fucking cute and fluffy. How could we possibly be mad at him? So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, hope you guys are happy that you now know my opinion on this game and that it's pretty much the same as anyone else's. And I'll see you next time.